Hello and welcome to Two Minute Design. I'm Dage, and today we're gonna light up the darkness. So I have two layers here, the background, including me looking like a complete idiot, and my creepy photo on a separate layer. Now let's give some meaning to this scene by adding some lights. First of all, let's select the background and add a black and white adjustment layer. I don't want it to be completely desaturated, so I'll decrease its opacity to around 40%. Now let's add the levels adjustment layer. Select the background again and add the levels. Adjust the highlight output level by dragging this guy here to the left. And you can also adjust the shadows, highlights and midtones here. Great. Now select the photo layer, turn it on, right click and convert to smart object. Now we'll be able to work non-destructively. So go to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. Here make sure Spotlight is selected and you can adjust the position, the scale and the rotation of the Spotlight. Also you can adjust the light intensity or brightness, the hotspot angle, which is the little ellipse over here. You can change the light color, adjust the exposure of the material, its glossiness, its metallic quality, which we don't really need right now, and it's ambient lighting. Also, you can add texture out of the photo by selecting the channel you want. I select the red channel and adjust the height of the texture map, how obvious the texture is. This looks good, so I'll hit OK. Now, double click on the photo layer to add some layer styles. Let's add a bevel and emboss. Turn it on, make it an inner bevel. The technique should be chisel hard. I increase the size to about 10 pixels, soften it a little bit. And I'll adjust the angle so that the highlight is on the bottom left. I'll decrease the highlight's opacity. Good. Now let's add a drop shadow. Increase the distance and the size. Also let's decrease the opacity and hit OK. Finally, let's add a spotlight to the background layer. Select it, then go to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. I'll scale it down a little bit and move it over. I'll decrease its intensity, increase the hotspot angle, decrease the exposure, and increase the ambient light. Hit OK. Now you can change the perspective of this photo by clicking it, hitting Ctrl or Command T to free transform. Hold down the Ctrl Command key and adjust this point and this one. Awesome. A flashlight in a dark room. <laughs> <laughs>